Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Open Green Energy. Earlier I have posted a video on weather station 4.0. That video was mainly covered on the base station assembly and setup. But unfortunately I have not covered the LoRa receiver part. This video is a continuation to my earlier video and this is mainly focused on the receiver unit. So guys, without any further delay, let's move to complete the project. I have received the PCB from PCB Way, which is the sponsor of this video. You can order high quality PCB prototype for your project from PCB Way at only $5. Apart from PCB manufacturing, you can also use their other services like PCB assembling, 3D printing, and CNC machining. Before moving to assemble the PCB, let's understand the schematic first. The entire schematic is divided into different sections. The first one is the battery charger section, which uses a single cell lithium ion battery charging IC LP4060. Here R1 is the LED current limiting register and R2 is the programmable register to control the charging current. And C1 and C2 are the filter capacitors. Next come to the battery protection circuit, which uses AP6685 IC to protect the battery from different abnormal situations like overcharge over discharge, short circuit, and reverse polarity. Then come to the voltage regulator part, which uses a LDO to step down the battery voltage into 3.3 volt. The heart of the entire project is ESP32 development board. To monitor the battery voltage, a voltage divider circuit is formed by using the two registers R6 and R7. The LoRa module is connected to MCU through SPI bus. Now come to the different headers part. Header J1 is provided for connecting a e-paper display. Header J2 is given to connect a external power switch. And J3 is for connecting a LiPo battery. Here BT1 is a 18650 lithium ion battery holder. Header J4 and J5 are two I2C ports. These are provided to hook up any environmental sensor to monitor the indoor parameter. The last one is the USB-C port, which is provided to charge the battery from any USB port. Guys, I hope you have understand the entire schematic. Now we can move to assemble the PCB.
Now the PCB board is ready. The next step is to upload the code into the ESP32 board. You can download the Arduino code from my website or Instructables. The link is given in the video description. First you have to install all the libraries, then you have to set the correct board and COM port number. Then hit the upload button. You can see the Arduino code is successfully uploaded into the ESP32 board. Now you can remove the USB cable and install the ESP32 back into the PCB board. Next we have to install the external power switch and battery. For battery you have two options. Either you can use a 18650 lithium ion battery on the back side of the PCB or you can connect a LiPo battery into the battery connector. After installing the power switch and battery, you can test the PCB board by turning on the external power switch. Then plug in a USB-C cable into the charging port. The charge status LED will turn on. In the next step, we have to connect the e-paper display to the PCB board. The pins name are already mentioned in the PCB as well as e-paper display. Then connect the antenna wire to the UFL connector given in the LoRa module. Now install the antenna and all the sensors to the transmitter board. After installing all the sensors to the transmitter board, you have to turn on the power switch of both the transmitter and receiver PCB. In the final step, we will test the LoRa communication between the two boards. Now you can see the e-paper display shows all the sensors data of the transmitter board. Guys, before leaving, I want to share an important information with you. My friend is designing a 3D printed enclosure for this receiver unit. So keep in touch. I will update all the details on my website as well as instructable page. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, then don't forget to share it. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will get notified whenever I upload a new video. A special thanks to all of my patrons. Without your support, it is impossible to make this video. Thank you.